Chef Kevin Belton, and welcome to my kitchen. You know, in New Orleans, we love flavors, and uh, who doesn't love a good snack? So what about hummus? Hummus are made with chickpeas, but I'm gonna talk to you while we're doing this about other things that you can use. Now, what I have done, I have taken our chickpeas and they're rinsed and drained, okay? Now, what's gonna make this fun is we're gonna use the Presto Electric Pressure Cooker Plus to get our chickpeas cooked. So we're gonna put in four cups of water into the Pressure Cooker Plus. We're gonna get in our chickpeas. To this, about a tablespoon of salt. So we'll get in a little bit of salt. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna press brown, and basically we wanna bring this up to a boil. Now, once this comes up to a boil, we're gonna boil it for one or two minutes. And you know, in New Orleans, Mondays are red beans and rice, and we cook a lot of beans down here. One of the reasons why we want this to come to a boil now is because you know beans are a little starchy, and you know, if you've ever cooked beans in a regular pot, they do foam up. So what we want to do here to eliminate that step, we're gonna get this boiling, then we're gonna cover this and let them soak for about an hour, and that'll take care of that. We're doing this with chickpeas. I mentioned red beans. Why not use red beans? Why not use black beans? You could use a white bean, a butter bean, a navy bean, any bean that you like. You know, if you've ever bought hummus at the store, it can get expensive. It saves so much money by you making your own. And I tell you what, I don't, don't tell anybody, but homemade hummus is a lot better than what you can buy. You do it yourself because you can put in the flavors that you particularly like. So when this comes to a boil, that's going to start our peas cooking. That's going to get them cooking. They're going to start to absorb a little bit of that water and a little bit of that salt as they sit to get tender. Because once that's done, now all we have to do is cook them for a short period of time. And we'll be eating hummus by the time you could say, Hummalama ding dong. I can see some of our steam starting to come off the top. And as you look down in, you can see it's just barely starting to boil. Our chickpeas are in there doing a little dance because they're starting to heat up. And you can see what I'm talking about. That little bit of foam coming up to the top where that's bubbles. That's a little bit of starch coming out of those beans. So we just want this to boil for about another minute. Let's just press cancel to turn them off. Place the lid right on top. No need to lock it on because now they're gonna just sit here and soak for an hour. This will start to get them nice and tender. Our beans have finished soaking for that hour and I've drained them and I've returned them back to the pressure cooker pot. Now it's time to add a little flavor. So here we're gonna put in three cups of chicken stock. You know, I love cooking with flavor. Water is great, but now that our beans have started to cook, we're gonna actually cook them in a little stock. Let's put our lid on, lock it in place. Don't forget your quick pressure release valve. We'll snap that right into place. Now we're ready to get our beans starting to cook. So all we have to do is press beans, put them up for 16 minutes. That's it. After 16 minutes, our pressure cooker will turn off automatically. Now the pressure has dropped on its own accord. Let's check out our chickpeas. They are plump, they're juicy. Now we're gonna strain them so we can get our hummus made. As you see, I have our strainer and our bowl. Just pour them right in. You can see how they've plumped up. And you know, you can smell the wonderful flavor of this chicken stock. That's why I wanted to cook them in chicken stock so they pick up flavor. So now let's get them into our food processor. Now 
We get them into the food processor. Now, this is where you can add a lot of different flavors. Here, a little cumin. I also love garlic. We're gonna put a little garlic in. For freshness, a little lemon juice. We're also gonna do a pinch of salt, and we don't wanna do too much salt right now because once we puree this and taste it, we can always add a little more salt, a little bit of oil, just a few tablespoons of a nice olive oil, tahini. Tahini is ground sesame seeds. If you don't have tahini, everybody at home has peanut butter, okay? I find that peanut butter works just as well as tahini if you don't have it. You know, tahini is one of those things you might have seen in the store and like, what is this? I've never used it before. So if you don't have tahini, not a problem. Go with a little peanut butter. And finally, just a touch of chicken stock. Now we're just gonna put a little chicken stock in because we want this to have a nice smooth texture. So we'll get it on, turn it on, and now we'll let this puree. What we're looking for is a nice smooth texture. You can see how it's still a little chunky. And now all to help with that, a little more stock. Now, you can also go in with a little more oil if you want, but that little bit of stock adds a little flavor. So let's go ahead and smooth this out some more. And remember, with this we're using chickpeas, where we can also use different types of beans. Don't be afraid, go with those red beans, go with those black beans. So now, oh, take a little taste. Mm. Needs a little bit more salt. See, you can always add, you can never take away. And I like it just, oh, whoo, got that garlic on the back end. Oh, that's good. I like it a little smoother. That's why I'm gonna go with a little more stock. Oh, such a great flavor. Such a great flavor. I think this is gonna be right where we want this. Oh, look how smooth, look how creamy. We can get a little taste off the side. Oh wow, that's good. Now, we're gonna let this sit here because we're gonna have to make some chips to go with this and I'm gonna show you how to dress up your hummus. Oh baby, this is so good. You did such a good job cooking our chickpeas. Oh. In our skillet, a little bit of butter. This is gonna be a little drizzle that we're gonna put on the top of our tortilla chips. You know, a lot of times when folks make homemade chips, yeah, they may sprinkle a little salt on them, but this is gonna be a little extra special. So let's get our butter heated in the pan into our butter. Now I just have about a teaspoon of kosher salt. We're gonna get down in there. This is gonna dissolve. And you know, when I fry, I always like to do a little bit of seasoning afterwards. That's when it's best to put that flavor on. In here, what we're doing, we've got a little salt in our butter, and now we're gonna put in a little cumin. Cumin and butter together, oh, they just give off such a great flavor. Come on out of there. Don't be shy, join your friends. And this just has to heat up. Look, that's all we want. We just want this to heat up for these flavors to come together. We can turn this off. And now let's go ahead and fry up our pita chips. So now, here for our tortilla chips. I'm gonna use the Presto Pro Fry that has a dual basket. What's nice with this, I've turned this on and I've set our temperature at 350 degrees. I know that it's ready because our light has gone off and this is nice and ready to go. Tortilla crisp, you know, some people like hummus with a soft where they can bend and it's pliable. Sometimes they toast it off. 
I like to go ahead and fry them because this way it gives it a nice little crunch and you can do both. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna lower our baskets into the oil and I chose to use the baskets this time. Now, in our pro fry, we don't necessarily have to use the baskets. We can just use it without the baskets, but for this, I'm gonna use our baskets and look, just take our tortillas and we're gonna drop them right in. These won't take long. Let's put some on both sides. You're gonna see how quick these fry up, just for a nice little crunch. Now, these are flour tortillas that have been quartered. And, you know, just move them around. I'm taking my tongs, moving them around. But you can see how they're already toasting and just getting nice and crisp. You know, this makes frying so easy at home. You know, have the kids help out, get the hummus ready, you know, with the older kids. They can go ahead and help cut the tortillas for you. But you know, this is one of those dishes where if you have this at a party with that homemade hummus, oh, your friend's gonna be saying, I have to have that recipe from you. You have to tell me this recipe. My hummus, when I buy it, doesn't taste like this because it's homemade. And that's what, oh, it's great homemade because it has such wonderful flavor. So here, look at this. Let's just give them a flip. You can see how they're browning off, getting nice and toasty. And you know, I'm flipping this for you all, but a lot of times at home, I don't flip them. I like to have one side really crispy, the other side a little pale, a little softer. But for you all, I'm gonna flip them. Oh, look at that. We also have an 1800 watt heating element. And what this heating element does, it assures that it'll heat up fast. And when one batch is done, whatever you're cooking, the recovery time of that oil is going to get it right back up to temperature. The thermostat, you can adjust it to the temperature that you desire it. Here we have it set at 350 degrees. For some things, we can go all the way up to 375 degrees. So look, our tortillas are done. Now we can sit here and just let them drain. And you notice I have some paper towels. So look, just give them a little shake. We're gonna dump them right onto the paper towels. I don't know if you heard that little bit of a crunch. Let's get our others out. And because our recovery time is so quick, notice right back in with the next ones and you can see how it's sizzling. See that? That means that temperature is right back to where we want it. That's what we're looking for. That's what's really nice. That this fryer just gets it right back up to temperature. So now, you remember our sauce we made. Let's take a little bit of our sauce and just drizzle it over our chips that we cooked. We don't need much. This has a lot of flavor to it. So just a little bit. And like I said, we also want to take just a little pinch of salt, sprinkle these right on over. Just a little tiny touch of salt, extra salt on there. Look, look how great. It's right back up to temperature. They're crisping off. I think this is going to be plenty. I think this is going to be really, really nice, really good. Look how beautiful that is. You know, just the other day, I made something that I try not to make that often because you can buy them so many places, but I made homemade boudin. And in my dual basket fryer, I had three boudin balls on each side. Baby, I fed 20 people because my boudin balls cooked up really quick. The cheese inside got melted. And if you haven't had boudin, you have to come to visit us in New Orleans. And whoo, let me tell you what, it's really, really good. So now let's move our chips onto our plate. 
because our next batch, they're ready to come out. What's nice about this having two baskets is the fact that, you know, if you fry chicken, the bigger pieces take a little longer. So often I'll put my breast and thighs on one side, my legs and wings on the other side because they'll just cook a little quicker. So here, a little bit more. Just drizzled right on. Just a little pinch of salt. And let's just get our chips right onto the plate. Right onto the plate. I've had our hummus sitting here. I like to take a little olive oil, drizzle just over the top of our hummus as it finished. A few Kalamata olives, just right there in the middle. Here you see I have some fresh vegetables. You could take some vegetables, look at the color. Besides the chip dipping in, you could use the veggies for a nice dip. You know, this hummus was so easy because of our Presto Electric Pressure Cooker Plus. It's fast, it's easy, and it's just set and the rest is automatic. Plus, not only is it a pressure cooker, it's also a slow cooker. They're both together, all in one. And our chips from our dual basket pro fry. Great fast food, good hummus, wonderful chips, the two together. Oh, ho, ho, ho.